Hello everybody and welcome to this video lesson about uh, sketching exercise number three rubber template. In this exercise I would like to demonstrate some sketching tools like uh, how to uh, toggle from line mode to uh, the arc mode and how to offset these lines and arc inward a distance or an offset distance 20 millimeter. I'm going also to offset this line inward uh, an offset distance of 40 millimeter. Then I would like to show you how to trim the uh, uh, undesired uh, line segments. And then after that, we will fillet the corner with radius uh, 20 for the outer corners and radius 10 millimeter for the inner uh, corner here. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I have started already new part file and I have set the units to milli, uh, millimeter gram second, so metric units. Then I'm going to start a new uh, sketch on the front plane. So left click on the front plane and immediately from this pop-up menu, I'm going to click on sketch. So here we are. Now we are uh, inside the editing sketch mode. Remember, we have mentioned uh, earlier that we have three indicators that tell us that we are in the editing sketch mode. First, this message here in the status bar, editing sketch one, and we can see also the origin point and the confirmation corner on the uh, top right corner in which we have two icons. One is to exit a sketch with saving and exit without saving, all right? So I'm going to start in uh, line command. And remember in the first rule, we said we take care about the shape first and then we will apply some sketch relations or constraints to control the geometry. And then after that, we will uh, add dimensions. So somewhere here, roughly, I'm going to uh, depict the uh, uh, shape of my uh, model. So, and also remember that when we are vertical, we can see uh, a yellow icon, which indicates that SOLIDWORK will apply sketch relation vertical automatically. So, uh, and then also when we are coincident or aligned with the origin point, we will see this dotted line. This is a blue dotted line. So click, and then I'm going to draw a horizontal line. Again, when you are horizontal, you will see this dotted line. This is this is a blue dotted line. And immediately we can see two uh, sketch relations, a yellow icon, which uh, indicates that SOLIDWORKS will apply automatically coincident relation and horizontal relation to this line. So this line will be coincident to the origin point and it will be forced to be uh, horizontal. All right. Then I'm going to go up, all right, vertically. And until I see the dotted line, the blue dotted line, which indicates that I am aligned with the endpoint of the first line. So click, okay. Now I need to uh, toggle to the arc mode so that I can connect these two lines with an arc. So to toggle to the arc mode, simply we go back and touch the end point until we see this uh, this uh, uh, orange uh, dot. Immediately, we toggle to the uh, the arc mode. So then I'm going to pick the end point here. All right. Click OK. I'm going also to show the sketch relations because uh, they are actually turned off. So once we click on from this uh, view sketch relation, I can see now all the sketch relations that have been applied automatically to my sketch. I'm going also to zoom to fit. All right, so as you can see, uh, SOLIDWORKS has automatically applied this vertical relation and this coincident relation. So this line is coincident to the origin point and it is also forced to be horizontal this vertical relation, so this line is forced to be vertical, and then tangent relation between this line and this arc, 
Remember, once you hover over the sketch relation, the two entities that are affected by this uh, sketch relation will be highlighted with purple color. Here also. So I have sketch relation between this line and this uh, arc, tangent sketch relation. All right. Now, what else we need? What else uh, from sketch relation? What other sketch relation we need to apply? As you can see, this sketch is asymmetric, all right, about the origin point. So I want to make it uh, symmetric. So to make it symmetric, simply I'm going to press and hold the control key and select this line and the origin point. Then I release control key and apply midpoint, make midpoint. Remember, we have explained this in the uh, previous uh, uh, video lessons, in the sketch relation video lesson. And I mentioned that mi midpoint is very important uh, sketch relation. Why? Because it enables us to make our sketch symmetric about a certain point. So now it is symmetric about the origin point. All right. Now I'm going to apply some dimensions. So if I use uh, the middle wheel, remember you can zoom in, zoom out with the middle wheel. You can also press and hold control key and the middle wheel and pan your sketch so that it is on the proper location uh, on your screen. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then I will apply uh, here, I want to make the radius 50. Okay. And the height of this line is to be uh, 90 plus 20, so 110. All right. And zoom to fit. My sketch now is fully defined. As you can see, everything is given in black color. And it indicates here in the uh, status bar, fully defined. Perfect. Now, the next task that we want to do is to offset these two lines and this arc inward and offset distance of 20 millimeter. So this is a new command, okay? We never used before. So from the sketch toolbar, I can activate the command offset entities, offset entities. And then in the uh, offset entities uh, property manager, I'm going to enter the offset distance, which is in this case 20. Okay. Also, I'm going to uncheck select chain because I don't like to offset everything. I want to offset only a certain uh, entities, only this one, this line, and this arc. This is not included. All right, so now I'm going to click on the first line, and as you can see, it goes in the wrong direction. So I can reverse from the property manager. I'm going to reverse the direction of the offset. Then we click on the arc, and then we click on this line as well. All right, so that's all we need uh, regarding the offset distance 20 uh, millimeter. So we click OK. Now I need to offset this line inside an offset distance of 40. So I'm going to reactivate the offset entities command again, change the offset distance to 40, then pick this line. All right, so it, it goes in the wrong direction outside. So I'm going to reverse direction and then click OK. Then I'm going to uh, zoom to fit. All right. So as you can see, I don't need these uh, extensions of the line. I, so I need to trim these uh, lines here, these line segments. So I'm going to activate trim entities from the sketch toolbar on the right side of your screen you can activate trim entities and then the first option we have different options here so i'm going to use the first option power trim power trim requires that you press and hold the left mouse button and then just cross 
the entities that you want to trim. Then click OK. Here we are. Now what else we need? We need to fillet this corner here, maybe 10 millimeter and outer corner 20 millimeter. So I'm going to use a fillet, sketch fillet. Radius 10 millimeter, perfect. So I just click on this line and this line, then this segment and the vertical line, and then we click OK to accept the, the changes that will happen on our sketch. Then I'm going to change the radius value to 20, and I fill it, these two uh, entities, and then we will get this message. So a segment being filleted has a midpoint or equal length or equidistance relation. Equidistance relation will be deleted and the geometry might move if the, file, uh, if the fillet is created. Do you want to continue? Okay. Actually, we are going to lose some, uh, some relation here, like this dimension. and uh, So I said, okay, yes. And... I'm going to repair this later on. So click OK. And then we click OK. Here we are. So as you can see, because we lost this distance, the 110, uh, some of the sketch now uh, turns to blue color because we don't know how big is this uh, vertical line. So I'm going to add dimension or this one, just make it 90, and again, I got my sketch fully defined. So 90, yes. All right. The last thing that we need to do in this uh, sketch to get it completed is to draw the two holes. We have two holes of diameter 12 millimeter. So circle, circle, okay. I need center point and radius. So I'm going to pick this center point here because it should be concentric actually with this uh, with this arc. Another circle here and then click OK. Equal relation because these two holes should be equal. OK. And then I will add the diameter. So diameter of this hole is 12 millimeters. So once I dimension one hole, the other hole will follow. Why? Because we have this equal relation. So I don't need to add dimension here as well. So if I add dimension here, 12, I will get this message. My sketch gets overdefined. We don't need to add this uh, dimension here because I already mentioned that this circle is equal to this circle. All right. So our sketch is now uh, completed. All the dimensions are there, so and, and my sketch is fully defined. So the sketch is ready uh, to any 3D operation, like for example, we can extrude it or whatever. Uh, but I just want to show you, uh, if you want to hide your uh, dimension, sometimes your sketch get busy, you can hide your dimension and your sketch relation, so, and show it whenever you need it. So you can hide and show both dimensions and sketch relation, okay? Uh, that completes this video. Thanks for watching and I will be talking to you very soon. Bye for now.